Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this big object that I'm priming. So my parents built me this. It's a free little library and I used to rent a house that had one outside the front. Um, it was already there before I rented it and I really liked it. I really liked it. Obviously I'm a bit hesitant about putting this up seeing as there's a pandemic um, but for now I'll just paint it and I'm gonna put some cool stuff on it uh, Finn's gonna paint some of it too so I guess this is a vlog I hope you like it Okay, so I finished priming the back and the sides on this guy down here. Um, the next step is going to be planning what we're going to put on those panels, and then I'll turn it around and paint the front and the inside. Um, but yeah, I've got some ideas for what I want on the sides and the back based on some book series that we really like. I think it's going to be cool. All right, so it's been a day. Um, the primer is totally dry, of course. It dried really fast. Um, I did some planning for what I want to paint on this bad boy here. So I'm gonna do two sides of it, and then Finn is gonna do the back. This is, this is the back that you can kind of see here. Um, and we're basing them off of literature that we really like basically um but also stuff that's vaguely recognizable um because you know it's it's gonna be out on our on our lawn we don't want it to be like too super weird but yeah we want people to recognize what it's portraying so on one side i'm gonna do a piece uh with moby dick the white whale um i know a lot of people don't really get that book, um, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. So I'm going to paint a white whale on one side and then on the side over here, which I think I'm going to work on today. I didn't know if I was going to like rush through this, like hurry on through this, but I think it'll be better because if I get it done, then it doesn't have to take up all this space in our front room, um, which is like our studio room. And right now it's kind of like it's blocking part of uh, Cicero's terrarium. He's like right over there. Um, and it's like blocking our drawers and stuff. So it's just, it's a bit unwieldy. I have a small house and this is like another small house inside my small house, but for books. Um, so I'll show you my sketches here. Yeah, basically on this side that I'm gonna work on today, um, I'm gonna do Gandalf and Shadow Facts. And then it's gonna have, if you can see here, if it'll focus, it's gonna have these radial lines of light coming out of Gandalf's staff, um, which is, I don't know, it's a it's an image I've always really liked. And I also wanna kind of keep the sides and the front in like a limited palette scheme. So mostly just white and blue um, and different shades of that because of course there's the white whale and then Shadowfax will be white and Gandalf will also be white. Um, I quite like this little drawing so I might even scan this in and blow it up and then transfer it so that I can get exactly like this. Um, but yeah I want the fronts, the front and the sides to sort of go together. Um, the front has this triangle above the doors um, and then it'll have the little like I'll, I'll grab it here, the little library sign. Um, so that will go on there on the front because um, it has the instructions, take a book, share a book, uh, nonprofit, you know, right? So I've had this sitting in a drawer waiting for this thing for so long. Um, but then, so I live in a dinosaur town, um, basically. 
We're famous for our dinosaur museum because there's lots of dinosaurs popping out of the hills, fossils everywhere. Um, and our streets downtown have code names. Um, you can't actually like write them on, on postage, it won't like arrive here, but our street is Dromaeosaurus Street, um, which is kind of perfect because I love Dromaeosaurs. But I want to do like a little Dromaeosaur pattern, um, kind of a little bit Celtic inspired um, on the front triangle here. So that'll be probably the last thing I do um, because it involves like turning this whole thing around and I'm lazy so I don't want to turn it around more than once. Um, but yeah, I will transfer Gandalf and uh, start painting this. It'll be in acrylic because uh, then I can seal it for outdoor weather. Um, yeah, I haven't used acrylic in a while, but it's not that complicated, so. All right, transfer time. Yay.
So here is the final box. 
On the front here, I put a little Diplodocus. I was gonna put Dromaeosaurus, but I changed my mind and I think his tail is super cute. And then this is just um, put on with some construction adhesive and a couple of nails. I was gonna screw it in, but the holes were too small for all my screws. Um, this side is Moby Dick. This side is Dune which I think it looks so cool. It looks awesome. I love how the bright colors look with the white borders. And then this side is uh, Gandalf and Shadowfax. And uh, yeah, that's it for, for this vlog. I'm gonna give it a spray um, with some, just some acrylic varnish, outdoor varnish. I think it's glossy. Um, it'll protect it from the weather, but it also has, you know, like a legitimate roof to protect it from the weather so that's good and then whenever I get it installed which will be like there um, I'll fill it with books and hand sanitizer and it'll be good to go frankly I'm just glad it's not in my front room anymore isn't it so nice it's a little messy like it's not perfect there's like adhesive all over here and whatever but like it's cute, it's adorable, it's supposed to be sort of charming and imperfect, right? Right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of my art stuff, some costuming stuff, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Um, if you want to, actually, if you want to see this on the post and whatever, uh, follow me on Instagram because I'll doubtless post an image there. Um, but this is the last you'll see this guy on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. It's cute, right?